Hey, what's up there guys? Core here with Gotta Be Mobile and the Samsung Galaxy S8. And today what we wanted to do is really quickly show you guys how to use multi-window on the Galaxy S8 or the S8 Plus or even the Note 8. Now this is called multi-window, but a lot of people call it like split screen or, or multitasking or whatever you have you, but it's basically running two apps at the same time on your Galaxy S8 or your Note 8. When you have a big screen, it's helpful and very useful to be able to run two apps at the same time, but it's kind of confusing how it all works. And if you hit back, it kind of, goes down here and it's still not gone and sometimes you try to launch something else it pops up again so it can, it can kind of be confusing for people so we want to give you a quick a quick kind of guide on how this works so there's multiple ways to do this but first let's go ahead and enable it go ahead and scroll down the notification shade go into settings and head to advanced features and from here just find multi window and tap it and make sure the use recents button is turned on because this is kind of what gives you all the control you need for, for multi-window on a Galaxy device. You can also tap this to choose what kind of mode. This way it gives you two screens of equal size that can then be adjusted. Or if you use snap window, you basically can like add a little window to the top of a different app and use the rest of your phone for another one. But that's kind of like a, a standstill instead of both being two apps you can use at the same time. So go ahead and enable the multi-window and settings go ahead and turn on the recent button and from here is where you're going to want to do everything you go ahead and push and hold or just tap the recent apps button down here so i'm gonna go ahead and clear the settings from this i have a browser and youtube and a calculator and there's these little two rectangle icons in each app and this is what you use to launch so you tap that and now you have an app at the top and now you have a couple of your recent apps at the bottom. You can open some from there, from your recent apps list, or go into more apps and choose any app on your phone. So you can choose either or. So go ahead and tap the recent apps button. Choose the browser to go at the top. Choose YouTube to go at the bottom. And now I have two apps on my phone running at the same time. This is multi-window on the Galaxy S8. From here, you can tap this little line in the middle and give you kind of a couple additional options or you can drag that line to resize the window as you see fit. But now if you're thinking, wait a minute, I wanted YouTube at the top, not the bottom, go ahead and tap in the middle again and this little invert circle, as you can see, obviously kind of a little button to let you switch between the two. Go ahead and tap that. And now I instantly added YouTube to the top and my browser back to the bottom. Now say I'm done kind of watching what I want to watch and I want to go back to browsing the web, you can click and drag this up and get rid of YouTube completely, or you could have hit a couple of different buttons. Additionally, if you're just browsing the web and you wanna launch multi-window and you don't wanna kinda of fumble with everything we just did, simply press and hold the recent apps button and that'll instantly launch it from anywhere on your phone within any app without going home and having to mess around. And then again, once again, you can choose from the list or hit more apps to find anything you wanna look at. So now we're back into this one more time. You can tap here and expand or minimize individual apps from your multi you know, window mode. But depending on what app you're using, when you tap up here, it will interact with that. So I'm going to expand YouTube and now I've blown YouTube up into its own kind of like floating window. And this is kind of useful for certain things, maybe not you know, YouTube, but say the calculator would actually be a little more useful with that feature. Go ahead and tap that middle bar again and hit maximize. And now I have a floating bar that can be completely resized with a calculator while I'm doing other things. So if you're browsing the web or watching some videos or doing a couple of things, yet at the same time you need to use the calculator, you can. You can also tap one of these two bu buttons here to minimize or maximize that back to the way you were before. So basically there's just a couple little buttons that kind of give you more or less control and, uh, and, and makes it kind of simple. So you're not fumbling back and forth conti and continuously having to hit home. And then once again, hitting this button and then opening it again and then tapping another one and kind of doing so much just to enjoy multi-window. So go ahead and get rid of that calculator again. And last but not least, when it comes to multi-window on the Galaxy S8, is one other option which will kind of let you lock everything up to the top of the screen and enjoy multi-window without having to kind of fumble through everything too much or go through a lot of different settings. You'll, and you can also have one app using more of the screen than the other in kind of a more fixed position and it's easier to do. So you go ahead and tap recent apps again. And instead of hitting 
the two box icons, you tap this one right here that kind of has a square with some dots and that kind of locks in a different mode of multi-window. So go ahead and tap that, hit done, choose a browser, and now I have a much larger browser window with a, a much smaller YouTube window at the top to be a little less distracting and just to kind of give you one more option. So again, this still works the way multi-window does where you can tap in the middle and get all of your options, but that gives you more of a fixed view that's not half and half. It gives something, you know, a little more focus than the other app. So that's just one of the two different ways. And then additionally, you can always go ahead and tap the Resnaps menu here and like usual, switch between apps while you are in this mode. And this works, of course, anywhere. So we can go ahead and tap that, hit close, and go back to YouTube. So for those wondering, of course, you can launch an app, launch another app, and as you saw here, you tap in the middle and hit the X to kill any running multi-window mode at any given time. And then as I did earlier, you can swipe all the way up or all the way down to close one versus the other if you would like. And then of course you can always just hit home at any moment, but of course it minimizes it. It doesn't actually take your phone home. And this is so you can launch other apps and do other things on the fly and enjoy multi-window mode. But at any time, you just pull down the notification bar, tap the X and that completely kills your multi-window and gets you back to a clean slate. But that's it guys, a quick look kind of explaining multi-window for the Galaxy S8 in a little bit more detail. Give it a try and enjoy your phone a little more, but that's it. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.